accounts. No, no, we did. Uh, so yeah. where should people go look for the information? Uh, yes, you just have to contact with us. Okay. They can write me. So we hire Scala coders, also experienced blockchain developers. Uh, so that's what, that's what we need now. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to buy Lambo? Mm, probably not. <laughs> probably not. No. So there is I still the probably. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have a car in Moscow okay. because no, it's you don't, you're kind traveling of too much, useless right? in Moscow. You have traffic jams all the time. Yeah, and we've heard. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about this question. I know yeah. you ask it all the time, but yeah. we have to ask or sure, our sure, readers no will problem. kill us. Yeah. So what's going to be the price in yeah. one year of Waves and Bitcoin? Where do you see it? <laughs> no, like, let's be like realistic. I hmm. think that uh, uh, Waves can grow up to 50 or 70 dollars, mm -hmm. realistically, yeah, so in Bitcoin might go up to, to 30,000 dollars, something like 30,000, 30, 40,000, mm -hmm. yeah, and then probably it's like, yeah, it's gonna stay there for a while because it's a, it's, it's huge, mm -hmm. huge. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, question, a lot of it, it came up. Uh, what, what do you think about the directed acyclic graph projects, the Yota, Bindball? Yeah, 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 so they are not so completely decentralized, but I definitely support them. We, uh, you know, it's probably too early to uh, have some kind of aggressive competition in mm -hmm. space. We are basically in the same boat, mm -hmm. so uh, it's a good um, development that uh, is trying to create some other architecture. It's not blockchain, it's something different, it's similar, but it's not a blockchain. So you don't have to really stick to the blockchain because it's like the basic architecture and better architectures are on the way. So IOTA is a good project in this respect, uh, but it's, it's not mature yet, of course. So, so do you think it's yeah. overvalued now? Yeah, yeah okay. yes, from yeah. the market capitalization, it mm -hmm. might be overvalued, um, but it, you don't really, you know, you don't really uh, judge all the projects by their market capitalization because if you follow crypto space closely you probably understand that it might be manipulated a little mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. in this case i don't know about um, uh, iota but it's a good project uh, and uh, let's see what they're gonna do next okay perfect mm -hmm. uh just the, who to follow on twitter who would you like <laughs> recommend uh, on twitter uh, yeah crypto people Who's the must for, from your perspective? Uh, uh, I follow I follow Vitalik actually because he writes interesting things at least. Uh, Vlad, mm -hmm. also Emin, uh, no Emin, I can Silver Emin Emin is Silver like uh, he's a professor at Cornell. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he's actually proposed NG idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and also who do I follow? Uh, guys who post some uh, research articles and research links like uh, Sasha Chipornoy and Dino Mishkov. If you are new to crypto, uh, you need to realize that it's here to stay and it's never too late to get into the space and start doing your projects or start investing in the projects you like. So it's all just the beginning and all the fun is still ahead. Hi Crypto Magazine, I wish you the best of luck and great development in the next year. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Sasha. I was, in, I was in Prague in the summer. Yeah, yeah. It was a conference. Yeah. I didn't know. I missed that, I guess. <coughs> uh, we've got some like random questions from, <coughs> sure, people, sure, from sure. Facebook, so if, yeah. you, if you don't want to answer it, it's okay. No, it's okay. Yeah, I can um, do you ever sleep? How many uh, hours <laughs> you work for like per week? Uh, Oh, I work a lot, but I do sleep, of course. So, I, like, maybe a little less than a normal person, but like six hours okay. per day, I do sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so next question was if you're ever coming to Prague. So you said you're. Yeah, I was. And I'm gonna be coming to Prague. Sure. Probably. Yeah. You might know that <coughs> we support Parallel Base. Yeah. So in all the locations of Parallel Base, we're gonna be present too, and they are going to have an office in Prague. For oh. Sure. When is it opening? We, we, I, we I'm not really sure because um, it might be uh, the summer or this. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, when you were in Prague during the summer, you were in the Paralanipolis or what was the conference? There was some cryptocurrency conference from <coughs> Cointelegraph people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, when did you buy your first crypto and what was it? It was probably quite late. It was 
2013. Okay. Yeah. We wouldn't say it's <coughs> <coughs> for you. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, Why? Yeah. We're, well, yeah. we're very new into the crypto, a lot of us in the Czech Republic and from our community, because mm -hmm. it's growing so fast and a lot yeah. of people new coming. So 2013 is not like yeah. late you know, <laughs> so in our because yeah, yeah, but many people bought it like, you know, 2010. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, three words to mm. describe Waves. Waves is the blockchain for the people. So it's mm -hmm. blockchain for the real business, for real world applications. Uh, favorite ICO on Waves? I like Parma Waves. I like Parma okay. Waves, yeah, because it, like, it, it, it's working, guys, so you can you can feel it, it's like tangible mm -hmm. product, so it yeah, exists. That's so true. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> You're right. Mm. Um, yeah, so favorite crypto project if Waves didn't exist? Favorite crypto crypto project? Bitcoin. Bitcoin? Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. Um, safe answer. The worst crypto pro project? The worst? No, I wouldn't say. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. all good, actually. No, it's in one way, you know, or okay, another. So yeah, so. No, no, like Putin coin. Or Putin coin. Or yeah. <laughs> is there a Putin coin? There is a Putin coin. Uh, uh, I didn't buy it, but uh, I've heard there is. Oh, cool. <laughs> there, there was a Trump coin. Trump coin. I yeah. Um, yeah. So we have a lot of friends from Russia, mm. and we know it can be quite challenging to do business in Russia, mm -hmm. like from the innovation point or mm -hmm. something. You're the biggest Russian crypto projects. Like, mm. are you are you afraid or? Actually, no. There is not. There's no um, big problem in Russia. So uh, there is huge interest as all over the world. So and we are not positioning ourselves as a Russian project. Mm -hmm. All blockchain projects are like international by default. So of course we are like international projects with based out of Moscow currently. But now we are like expanding, so probably most of the developers will be in Moscow, mm -hmm. but will be present all over the world. So let me ask differently, mm. are you are you afraid about the regulation on crypto in general mm. in Russia? No, it's quite, it's not, there is no regulation as of now, but there is going to be some. So we're working with the government actually and have some proposals for them. And interest is so big that uh, I don't think there can be some kind of restrictive uh, mm -hmm. regulation. So, so you're actively working yeah, with yeah, the government to yeah, work yeah, on that? Sure, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Deloitte, uh, yeah. did you approach them or they approached you? Yeah, it was like mutual. So, okay. uh, and we were working on uh, regulation in mm -hmm. Russia and also regulation, global regulation. So we have these projects also in Switzerland uh, and uh, former Soviet Union countries like uh, Kazakhstan mm -hmm. and uh, Belarus. So we are trying to help them uh, have some like sensible, helpful laws for mm -hmm. the crypto community. Uh, <laughs> any other mm. uh, big four companies did they approach you? KPMG or yeah, yeah, we, we we talked to many. Baker and McKenzie, for example, we worked mm -hmm. on this uh, Singapore project with uh, Baker and McKenzie, and it, it was quite slow. But now we are launching it, so we have good partnerships with uh, legal companies because we are really big. Uh, on uh, legitimization and regulation because in my opinion this is quite important uh, and the real growth is gonna come when you um, enable a normal person uh, to buy Bitcoin the normal or keep any other cryptocurrency easily so he or she can should buy it like from his bank account without without you know, in it. it should be very simple like it's, it's in Japan now because a Japanese uh, person can have can buy Bitcoin right in his uh, online bank so mm -hmm. you can have uh, yen there and there's another like Bitcoin account so it's very simple and you can see that the market exploded right after Japan legitimized crypto mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry yeah, what partnership would you like to see in the future with Waves? Do you have like any particular company that you wish to work, work mm. with? Uh, yeah, actually, you know, so we are ready to work with all uh, companies that are interested in the blockchain technology. So it can be like big loyalty programs. For example, there was this uh, case with Burger King. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. They just yeah, yeah, issued uh, because we didn't approach them. Mm -hmm. They did not their own. They just uh, were, were looking for a way to issue tokens easily, and they just uh, ran across uh, Waves platform. So they they've done this project and it was quite interesting. And such projects are quite important. So it doesn't matter if it's Burger King or maybe some like more like like more company that brings more value. Yeah, but you know. 
businesses should use blockchain technology and we are ready to work with any, any business. 1,000 transactions per cycle, it's yeah. not going to be enough. Sure, so sure. sure yeah. what, what's going to happen about like in, in the near future? About yeah, the so we are trying to get the best out of uh, current protocols. Uh, you probably won't be able to have more than 1,000 transactions per second. And the next step would be uh, off-chain protocols, uh, lightning networks and stuff like that. So when you use blockchain only as some kind of um, settlement mechanism mm -hmm. and all the actual transactions are happening off-chain. So you have a payment channel and you can send as many transactions within this channel as you want. If there is some kind of misunderstanding between the parties, they go to the blockchain and you have this blockchain transaction. So this is uh, the future of this technology. Off-chain yeah, solutions. Off -chain, off -chain okay. solution, yeah. And we'll, 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 we'll have it too, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, I've read on your Twitter that you're launching the marketing campaign with 100,000 US dollars per month. Can you like justify the number or was it? I don't think it was like a random number. Yeah, yeah, now we have uh, like a normal, uh, it's, it's a normal like um, established PR company uh, working for us. Mm -hmm. Uh, starting from January, so our goal is here to somehow uh, speed up the mass adoption. So we are gonna target not the crypto audience, but like the people, the new people who are coming to crypto. So we're gonna target uh, newcomers, mm -hmm. not the oldies who know how it works and they are just looking for maybe uh, tokens to invest and stuff like that. Those people just need uh, something like more basic, uh, a way to handle cryptocurrency in an easy way. That's why we support different cryptocurrencies in our wallet, not only Waste, but also mm -hmm. Ethereum, Bitcoin. And you can also trade that currency right in your wallet. So we try to offer some kind of uh, one-stop solution. Yeah, so you have everything in one place. So you don't need to go to an exchange, you don't need to go to an exchanger. You can buy crypto, you can sell crypto, you can trade crypto right in, in our wallet. So our goal is to target mass market and for that probably we have to spend a little bit more money than is mm -hmm. usually spent on marketing. Uh, I was actually yeah. beta testing the Waves client yeah. like two weeks ago, uh, but my friend uh, wrote me a question like, yeah. when they, when are we gonna see all the tokens on the DEX? All like, the tokens? Like, like everything. Yeah. Right now there's like s just several. Yeah, yeah but, you, but you, can, you can add your own. So you have to, oh, yeah. so you have yeah, to, just select so it volume. works like yeah. Um, yeah. Ether Delta or something like you have to actually create your own. No, you have to just uh, uh, look for the token by its ID, mm -hmm. and then you just book, bookmark it. Mm -hmm. it, it stays yeah. in your wallet. So, yeah. there, yeah. so you, you have all the tokens right now there. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So it just we we cannot show all the all the tokens. So mm -hmm. you will show like ten or twenty uh, ranked by volume. That's all. Yeah, so yeah, but yeah. you can add, add any. Yes. Yeah.